Here's an example of cubic regression using example four from the book on page two, 385, 382. The data in the table given the average speed Y and knots of the Trident motor yacht for several different engine speeds in hundreds of revolutions per minute, or RPMs. A, find the polynomial that models the data. B, estimate the average speed for the Trident for an engine speed of 2,400 RPMs. And C, what is what engine speed produces a boat speed of 14 knots? The very first thing, we need our polynomial in order to do B and C. That's why part, that's part A. So let's use the calculator and put in this data. I've already put that in just to save some time. And so when we hit stat and then edit, you'll see that we have all of the x values in for L1 and the Y values in for L2. So we have the engine speeds, X, boat speeds, Y. Every single one of these represents hundreds of RPMs. So with a window of X min 0, X max 25, Y min 0, and, and Y max 25, then the graph, the data, nicely fits into the window, and you can see this kind of cubic curve happening. That is why we're going to use cubic regression to represent and define the polynomial that fits this data. Let's go ahead and do that. That's part A. Go to stat. Go to calculate. Go down to 6, which is cubic regression. Then we have this X list L1, Y list L2. That's just reading, it's just telling the calculator what lists to read in our stat data table. For store reg EQ, we want that in Y1. So to get that, we have to say this VARS, which stands for variables. Then Y VARS, select over, and then choose the function 1, and then Y1. And you'll see that Y1 will come up in the store reg EQ. Go down to calculate. Then we get our cubic regression. A is the cubed value. So y equals 0.05x cubed. I'm rounding to the nearest thousandths place. Um, minus 0.194x squared plus 3.1 3, 2x minus 9.53. Since this was 299, then it makes more sense to have the 3 instead of the 299 in order for it to be in the thousands place. Now let's use our polynomial to finish parts B and C. So in part B, we need to estimate the average speed of the Trident for an engine speed of 200, sorry, 2,400 RPMs. So 2,400 RPMs in our values for our input, that represents a value of 24 in our input because we would have to divide by 100 since the speeds, the engine speeds, are in hundreds on the data table. So these are all in hundreds. So 21.5 is actually 2,150. 19 is actually 1,900. You get the idea. Since this is the value of the function, we're going to do second trace in our calculate menu choose value and you can see our value of our function going through our data 
if it doesn't go through the data, then the calculator won't be able to find the value of the function. See, because remember, we need to use the polynomial to represent the data. The data itself will not give us a value. So x equals 24, and our y equals 19.4. So that means that when the engine speed is 2,400 RPMs, the boat speed is 19.4 knots. And finally, what engine speed produced the boat speed of 14 knots? So here we have what is <clears throat> our input value when our output value is 14. There's a couple ways to do this. One way is to use the, ta the table of data. So if we go to our table, I actually happen to have this all set up for this problem, so it didn't take as long. We can see that when we go to our table set, which is second window, then we can start the table at 20 or 20.53 and then have the change of the table is 0 0.01. And that will give us the view of the table from here. And you can see that our x value is 20.54. The other way to do it is go to your y equals and for y, put in 14, this represents the 14 knots, and when we go to intersect, then our table, then we can use our calculator to find that intersection of the function. Basically what we're saying is, okay, if that's my first curve, that's my second curve, and then I can guess it. The calculator says, okay, what is the input when the output is 14? Or what is the intersection of y equals 14? That's a constant function. Where does it intersect this one? That will give us the input value. And you can see here that the input is 20.539, which is pretty close to the 20.54 that we got from the, ta from the table. So x equals 20.54, that means that um, when the boat speed is 14 knots, then the engine speed is, now I'm going to multiply this, the value by, hun by 100, 2,000 54 RPMs. And there we have an example using cubic regression and using the intersect feature and the table, the table values, as well as the value feature in order to find inputs and outputs after we have used the cubic regression to find the polynomial.